If you ever want to get some private coaching sessions with me, go ahead and check out my Metify page. Thank you. Sora's Sonic Blade is one of his most interesting special moves, because while on the surface it may seem like a simple recovery tool, or even a casual spamming move, it can be used for some pretty cool stuff. In this video, I'm going to show you three other ways you can use Sora's Sonic Blade. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by DNF Duel. Now this game definitely caught my eye. DNF Duel is a super cool Smash style fighting game with intuitive inputs and super fun gameplay. It has beautifully animated effects that do a complete screen takeover, making combos super satisfying to land. Now if this already sounds cool to you, you can check out the link in the description below to see this game in all its glory. Now you know how important online gameplay is to these multiplayer games, right? Well, DNF Duel actually uses rollback netcode. This ensures a low lag, seamless multiplayer experience worldwide. And it even uses a really simple online matchmaking system where you just get in queue and constantly match players. Of course, you don't have to just play online. The game has a bunch of other game modes like story mode, practice mode, survival mode, arcade mode, and more. Like the game's got it all, man. DNF Duel is available right now for purchase. And you can click on the link in the description below to check it out. Thanks once again, Dean Abdul, for sponsoring this video. The first thing I want to talk about is Sonic Blade's ledge options, specifically ledge trump and also throwing out a hitbox with Sonic Blade. If you're not exactly at the edge of the stage, you can simply aim diagonally towards the ledge with Sonic Blade. This will force the opponent off the ledge. The angle is pretty lenient in this instance, however if you're closer to the ledge, you will need to aim precisely towards the ledge. This is harder than normal, especially if you're using a GameCube controller, because you have to go right in between the notches. After a ledge trump, assuming they don't buffer any options, you can go for a lot of other moves. Here's a few instances. The second use for Sonic Blade is platform tech chases. On almost all characters at various percents, Sonic Blade 1 can lead into a tech chase onto a platform. The cool thing about this is you can loop on the platform as well. However, you should keep in mind that depending on how soon you hit the opponent with your Sonic Blade 1, you might not be able to go for some options fast enough. For instance, if you're trying to reset with Fyriga off of a missed tech, it won't work unless you hit with the late part of Sonic Blade 1, because the animation is too long. That being said, you can still go for the reactionary tech chase. Bruh. The last thing I want to talk about is using Sonic Blade as a combo ender. This is extremely precise and typically only works on bigger bodies. This requires you to get behind the opponent during Sonic Blade 2. Here are a few instances of that. Depending on what direction your opponent is holding, you can kind of follow where they're going to get hit and combo from there. I definitely don't recommend going for this if you're on the same stock, but man does it look amazing as a kill finisher. Well, that's all I have for now. I hope you guys liked those tidbits. If you want to see more, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Peace.